Well, hello and thank you for joining me for another ITY video. I have the great pleasure today to have Irina Yakubovskaya, the Business Development Director of Eva Polar. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Alex, for inviting me for this interview. Well, I'm really excited because what we have here is the Eva Polar. I remember seeing this on Indiegogo as a campaign when it first started, and it was um, a personal microclimate device which we can see. So please tell us, you know, may as well start off by telling us about the story behind Eva Polo, you know, how you sort of came about it, why you decided to do it, and, and the first product which we can see right there, buzzing away. <laughs> <laughs> With pleasure. Uh, the company started in 2015 mm -hmm. when uh, company founders Eugene de Bavoy and Vladimir Levitin managed to commercialize the uh, Eva Breeze technology into a very compact home factor device that is multifunctional. It cools, it purifies and humidifies the air. The main principle is based on evaporative technology mm -hmm. and... Um, so that's where eva comes from, comes, it's evaporative. Right, yeah. and polar is because of this, not cold, yeah, which is really cold. Very cold, yeah. <laughs> An aggregation of uh, actually two words. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started with the Indiegogo campaign that mm -hmm. went successfully. We managed to collect uh, one million Two hundred thousand dollars. Wow! I mean, American dollars mm. now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and uh, um, two uh, and six uh, thousand um, five hundred backers have received their product. Mm -hmm. um, and there was military technology behind it as well, wasn't there? Um, the yes, the Eva Breeze. I mean, has some uh, ex-Soviet um, heritage, I would say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's in company development. The father of one of the founders uh, was the actual developer of this um, technology. Mm -hmm. Um, well, material is really innovative. Um, uh, if you compare this um, uh, evaporative material to the existing materials that are used in evaporative air coolers and air conditioning systems, mm -hmm. uh, this one is inorganic, so it does not spread bacteria and yeah. is not providing for them the kind of nice atmosphere. The to environment to breathe, yeah, which is yes, which is so fabulous, which is yeah. really healthy. Mm -hmm. And um, its structure is very unique. It is hydrophilic and hydrophobic at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the material has huge absorbing potential. So it kind of absorbs water naturally, mm -hmm. and then uh, and at the same time, the material can release the water pretty easy. And this is why we managed to make the uh, this air cooler uh, very compact. If you will compare it to any existing analogs on the market, normally they are kind of bulky, mm. and they need a turbine and an engine and high power to operate. And giant so, tubes. And right. Going so windows, it's yeah. you know becoming too complicated. This yeah. one is really compact. It's mm. efficient. Uh, its energy efficient ratio is uh, really high. It's up to thirty uh, dots. Yeah. And um, it eats only 10 watts. Yeah. And you I can see that it is uh, can be uh, actually charged I, from your laptop. I've got I've got it plugged into one of my oh, right. uh, iPhone batteries. Like this is a standard, you know, phone battery here. But um, just on the side there, I'll just move along. You can see a little black um, standard wall plug, and uh, you know, it it it. You can take it with you anywhere, which is fabulous. Yeah. Just don't uh, forget that there is water inside. Yeah. And then so before you actually transport it, you need to kind of um, dry all the water yeah. needs to be dried out. Sure. Right. Uh, unless you take it really carefully if you're walking <laughs> outside or something. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> now on the top of that unit, there is a little display, and that's showing you the temperature and some other some other features there. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So you can it's a uh, touch control. And look, there's there's plenty of information online about how that works, but that unit is standalone. It, it doesn't connect to your phone via an app, for example. Uh, not in this generation, yeah. but uh, we are bringing uh, shortly the product uh, of the second generation mm -hmm. called um, Eva Smart EV3000. And this one is uh, can actually be remotely controlled by a smartphone and is smart home uh, technology enabled. So we start with Alexa and then we... Uh, go to um, other um, smartphone sure. uh, software. And is it more is it more powerful? Does it deliver cooler air as well? Or is it mainly focused on delivering smart technology so you can control it from your um, phones? And there's tablets? been uh, some product uh, technology Refinement? development behind. Mm -hmm. So the water tank is bigger. So it, now it's enough to run up to eight hours with one water tank um, 
supply. And that's compared to how many with the previous unit? Um, it depends on the how dry is the, sure. the air, but average is about four or five hours. Okay, so it's almost double, depending, kind which of, is great. Yeah, kind I mean, of. It's, a, it's, definite, it's a definite improvement. Yeah, mm. right. Um, uh, this one also um, has uh, you can see it's got a more advanced display. Grid. Mm -hmm. So this the one grill. is stable. Yeah. So here the grill or grid can yeah. be controlled so you can direct the airflow. And can you have it sort of doing a wavy motion right. or right. So, oh, that's automatic as well? Right. Yeah. Oh, so, it's got, yeah. so it's got a little motor there that moves it left and right if you It's not a mode, it's just kind of um, um, how to say a lever, but, but yeah. you can control oh, so it. So that's now. it's manual, not right. automatic. Right. Yeah, yeah. But that's good. You can position it where you want it to go without moving the unit itself. And I see you have a more advanced display there. Uh, on yes, because yeah. definitely, I mean, yeah. um, this is smart home enable, so you can control the unit from the desktop sure. or from the remote control. And is it an iPhone and iOS and Android? Uh, this is uh, so far iOS and Android. Mm -hmm. We decided not to do uh, Windows oh, no. Mobile. Well, you wouldn't bother. <laughs> I'm sorry, Microsoft, but you know, that ship sailed. Blackberry, that, well, they're on, they're on Android now too, so. And, and, and um, so it's only from phone and tablet or you've got a desktop interface as well through a web browser? Um, Not that you need that, frankly. Well, it's on the go. Yeah, okay, sweet. So um, uh, we're going to do an unbox, but let me just see what other questions I had here. So, so what, what is the price of this, uh, of both units? And, and when will the version 2 EvaSmart come onto the market? Okay, uh, the price for EvaSmart is 370 Yep. Dollars. And that's US dollars or Australian? This is Australian. Australian, okay, so excellent, far. excellent. Yeah. And that one is two eighty. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, how how we sell how we say it uh, shelf price. Mm -hmm. Um uh Eva Polo one is available online mm -hmm. currently in yeah. Australia. And this one is being released on September twelfth. And we are here this week for two industrial events mm -hmm. in Melbourne. Um, one's um, the gadget show, right? Got, yes, one is the gadget show, the other one is uh, home show. Yeah, so you've got a nice oh, stand sure. there with... Right, two stands, yeah. two events in parallel, Excellent. big crew uh, occupying Australia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and everybody's, you know, fascinated by this chance to be here. Yeah, and, yeah absolutely. Um, well, it's a so perfect we are kind environment of, for Right, it. right. Yeah. And we are pre-launching this product mm -hmm. just in front of the summer hit. Yeah. And uh, developing the channel network here in Australia, I see great interest uh, from uh, the industry. Mm -hmm. It seems there is definitely a market niche here. For and sure, it gets hot in it gets hot in Australia. Right. <laughs> Melbourne, yeah. Sydney, Canberra. Yes, yeah. and, uh, and not everyone has aircon, so you know. Right, right, yeah. and then it seems that uh, here we don't even need to persuade people that no. we need personal climate. Yeah, well, it's new. Right. You know, normally, you you get one of these. Uh, portable air conditioning units looks like a bit like R2-D2 except nowhere near as cool you've got to have this pipe going to your window you've got to turn it on it's noisy as all get out uh, and then it doesn't work you know because <laughs> you end up buying the wrong size for trying to cool too big a room and so that you know I mean I've been I remember in Melbourne sitting in front of one it was going full blast it was like 40 something degrees and I, and I was like cold for a second and then then like my nose was bleeding because it was so hot <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I would have loved to have had one of these uh, you know and, and with the summer coming up soon, I'm very keen to, to try one because I know what summers are like. And um, yeah, and, and one of the places I'm going to be doesn't have aircon. It's a, it's a very cool, it's, a, it's like a solar house, so it's cooler. But yeah, not as cool as it will be when I be able to try one of these. So um, uh, I, you, you mentioned the, the channel. You, uh, is this going to be on sale in the future in retail stores in Australia or is it online only? Right. It will be both uh, online and offline because yeah. we don't believe that online sales will be that massive without the yeah. physical presence. Sure. People still need to try, touch and see the product. Yeah. And do you know yet which retail channels or are you still in discussions? We are in the discussions and yeah. we have a number of uh, distributors from how we call it flock industry, yeah. which is air conditioning and ventilation. HVAC or something, yeah. Um, well, there is uh, strong interest, and I'm, I'm really pleased and surprised how well it's going so far. Sure. I mean, obviously, you can't say, but it'd be the other place for this to be sold would be the JB Hi Fi's and Harvey Norman's and all those sort of places. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's there. And, um, you know, I mean, you must already be, you know, you're only just about to launch version two, as, but you must, you must be planning out. I mean, how do you think it'll, the whole market will evolve in, a, in the decade? 
in a decade. Yeah. That's very well, just over the next few years, basically. The next few years. You must, you must be working on Eva Polar 3 in yes. the background. <laughs> well, actually, we are working on Eva Polar 6. Uh, okay, awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, we are kind of um, building up the concept of personal microclimate mm -hmm. and uh, aiming to offer uh, the product at various price range for targeting uh, various groups of customers. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a very uh, kind of um, all-in-one product mm -hmm. that is perfect for homes, for offices. This one is ideal for the guys who uh, wants to make use of their time at the ultimate usage, I would say, it, mm -hmm. uh, for um, guys who like uh, high-tech yeah, and geeky actually gadgets playing with new gadgets. Mm -hmm. And we are also developing um, a portable version, mm -hmm. the ruggedized uh, corp that uh, makes it uh, usable for hiking or fishing or house on a wheels format. Um, and it will even have some additional features that nobody can imagine, but probably it will keep mosquitoes in a while. Um, <laughs> and we are also developing um, uh, kind of um, uh, these lines as well. So we are working on the EVA Smart. This product is called EV3000. Mm -hmm. But there will be another couple of products in this line with additional features uh, and we are going even further into the concept of personal climate and personal solution i am aiming to make the personal climate is even more healthier than now mm -hmm. uh, so there will be great news coming by sure, sure. And, i mean it sounds very exciting and i'm also imagining that you know maybe in a decade you'll be able to integrate Eva Polar into like a jacket or something like in hit uh, like in back to the future 2 where michael j fox uh, fell into the water and the jacket you know it's dried out and already in japan there's a guy selling uh, jackets and shirts with a little fan in the bottom which sort of makes you look like the michelin man all puffed up i've seen videos of it but um, i mean it's just a fan so maybe maybe we'll have Eva Polar <laughs> embedded into our clothing Drying jacket sounds you know really interesting yeah Right well, but cool right. as well. You want to cool. you want to have this jacket Giant. on, but, cool. you know. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's you, you, I, you're going to have to have little pouches where the water can't splash out and some sort of little fans or something. <laughs> but I'm sure you guys can, you know, figure it out. We got deliver it by 2027. That would be um, that would be cool. Probably, but I just hope that sooner <laughs> than 2027, well, let's we'll hope be able so, yeah. to bring in um, another concept when. Uh, how to say uh, industrial manufacturers will onboard personal technology and who knows maybe one day the air flight manufacturers will actually get rid of the idea of the central cooling where everybody is becoming ill after mm. you know long flights mm. and then person instead will be able kind of to create and play with a nice display and set up the right temperature just for, for them. them yeah well that's or yeah. automobile manufacturers mm -hmm. uh, will uh, kind of adopt this technology on board and our cars will become even more um, uh, functional and healthy in the way how the cooling is done inside. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I know that Elon Musk with the Tesla has some sort of biohazard mode where even if there's a gas attack outside, you can hit a button and none of that gas will come through. So, I mean, if there are t ways that uh, you can broaden that into you know, other cars and other environments and maybe, you know, you can have the Eva Polar gas mask or something <laughs> in the future. Keep your nose cool and keep all the gas out. Bless <laughs> you. know. So look, I want to do the unboxing video separately after this because, because uh, you know, it'll just be a bit fiddly to do it. So so anyone that's watching this, just look down in the on the page. The second video there was uh, when the unboxing was there. But as we get to the towards the end of the interview, I always like to ask if you can please share some of the best advice you've ever received to help you get where you are today. Well, I'm kind of a responsive person, so I've got lots of advices and some of them I actually follow. Mm. But the first <laughs> one that good. comes into my mind was advice that my granny gave to me. She said, um, Irina, world is open and interesting and welcoming. Just never give up and keep on going and you will be there. So I'm here in Australia and I'm happy to, he to be here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Your first trip? Yeah, my first flight to Australia. And uh, so, do you have any final messages for ITY viewers and readers and for your current and future Eva Polar customers? Right. Um, at Eva Polar, we strongly believe that technology, even uh, complicated from the technical point of sight, should not be complicated to the users. And then innovation can actually uh, serve not only big enterprises or big customers, but 
our, you know, it can help us in our daily life and ultimate moments of comfort is the only thing that matters. Mm -hmm. So we welcome you guys to join us in the idea of spreading microclimate concept into the world mm -hmm. and uh, welcome with all the crowd. Thank you. Okay, Daniel, thank you very much. We're now going to press stop on the video and go to the unboxing of the new Eva Polar Eva Smart 2.0. Thank you. Thank you.